So good morning, everybody. Uh, today I am at an airfield called Habsheim, which is not far from Basel, just over the uh, the Swiss border. And it's also an airfield for aviation enthusiasts, which is uh, famous for uh, an incident with one of the very first, or the very first, uh, A320, which uh, tried to do a low pass during the air show and ended up crashing into the trees because of a problem with the um, uh, with the flight envelope. Um, so I'm here today because I have come down to do something which I don't, which I haven't done in quite a long time, which is uh, on-site testing. So in the old days, before we had the possibility of doing uh, remote tests, we used to uh, have, have examiners who used to travel to lots and lots of different places. Um, and we used to have our sort of regional areas where we used to do our tests. Now, with the advent of online testing, we don't need to travel as much as um, as we would have done in the past. But it is still nice to come out and see real pilots, visit a flying club, have some nice food um, and actually have some kind of human interaction, which we kind of lost uh, during COVID. So our test, as a lot of tests, uh, works with a with like what we call a buddy system. So generally, each test is going to be assessed by a uh, a team of assessors. There'll be two. There'll be one what we call operational assessor, who is somebody from an aviation background, and there'll be somebody who is a linguistic assessor who has qualifications uh, as a linguist. So it's like an English teacher um, or someone like that. Um, and normally, we do each test with. Uh, these two uh, these two assessors. Now, when we're online, obviously both assessors are there watching the candidate together. But when we do on-site testing, uh, we actually we go to a physical place and we have normally the operational assessor is sitting with the candidate, talking to the candidate, and then we have the linguistic assessor who is observing remotely through some kind of um, uh, video conference uh, system. So I'm here today. I'm the interlocutor slash uh, operational assessor. And my job basically is to, to run the test, talk to the candidate, show them the test materials, and also uh, take notes on what I've uh, picked up uh, through their, um, through their um, performance. Here basically is my equipment that I use for my test. So in the old days, we used to travel with a folder full of test materials, but I can now show my test materials directly on my iPad. I have it all on a drive, but I do carry paper backups just in case. And I also have my computer, which I use just basically to, um, uh, to to take my notes. Why do I take notes on a computer? Because my handwriting is so bad that even I can't read it once I've written it. So it's far easier for me to take the notes on the computer. Not only that, we also have to, when we do a test, we also have to fill in a proper report form. And it's far easier to copy and paste uh, the reports uh, rather than um, having to uh, actually read from your handwritten notes and type them into a into a report. And as you can see, what I have here uh, are some notes I've taken on, on a particular test. And you'll see that I normally have a system for writing down my notes, which involves, it's very simple really, it's basically a minus or a plus. A minus is where I've picked up a mistake that somebody's made. Um, and a plus is where I've given credit for good language use. And this is very important because when we when we make notes during a test, we're not just error spotting. We are giving credit for good language use, but also um, writing down uh, errors that people make in certain places. Um, and as you can see throughout the test, uh, we've had a guy uh, who has had a, a different combination of notes of different combination of marks, which was ended up with a level four um, overall. Um, and this is the way that we approach our marking. We always try to have a balanced marking of both mistakes and also um, credit given for good language use, which, as I said, also goes into a report, which we then keep on our file so that if anybody asks us why we've given somebody a certain level, we can justify the level. And of course, obviously, the, uh, the tests are also uh, video recorded. So there we go, live backstage from a real life uh, ELP uh, test uh, in a flying club in Alsace. Um, I've done a couple this morning, but another couple more to do this afternoon. Um, and uh, as I said, it's always been a, it's always a pleasure to come back and see real pilots rather than just um, sitting in front of a computer screen. And obviously one of the perks of doing this is that we get to, uh, to visit nice places and of course, uh, uh, eat a little bit of food, because you probably noticed food is one of my uh, favourite pastimes. Hope you're all enjoying your weekend, and I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.